Vivian and the Reaper, the Mortal Coil. The Reaper had one dream. To live as a mortal man. It came true he was human so it did seem. So he went to see a show to be with the mortals as a man. The flesh and blood Grim Reaper sat feeling human. He saw a beautiful lady she was an actress. He couldn't help but love her her name was Vivian McCann. He couldn't resist meeting her she asked for a name to him address. Grim Michael Grim, said the Reaper to his love. What do you do for a job? She asked him. I am a guide, was all he could think of. He thought of his life he was grim. He knew one day he would take her life. Are you alright? Vivian asked seeing his sad face. Yes I am fine, he said a little too quickly. Her face had lost its grace. He smiled nicely. He knew he'd lost her. So he apologized and took his leave. He spied his reflection as he left the theater saw his flesh did disappear. His second death and loss of a second chance he did forever grieve. Years later they met again she didn't know him. Vivian you will die there are no buts about it. A skeletal man in Benedictine monk's outfit said. Said Vivian in reply. Good but. Staring at his head. The reaper huffed. Stop saying but. You can't deny or bargain with me. Vivian took a deep breath and said. So you came for me? Death said as sharply as a blade. Yes, I have. You died at midnight. Vivian sobbed slightly and said. Midnight? It is five to midnight. The Reaper looked as awkward as a skeleton could. You're early. I live. The Reaper understood. The Reaper said nervously. I will take you at midnight. Vivian asked nearly as nervously as the Reaper was. What killed me tonight? The Reaper snapped back. I did. Vivian shook her head saying. Not you. My cause of death can you tell me or is it forbid? Death laughed and said. Stroke. It started when you awoke. Vivian shouted. I am not having a stroke. I am not dying. The Reaper said. Then why are you crying? The Reaper said. And why are you speaking like you are having a stroke my dear? Vivian noticed she was having a stroke she recognized the symptoms she was struck by fear. Her death was coming and coming soon. Five minutes had passed she died alone with death in the light of the moon. As you mortals live. You exist in your little mortal world till death I give. You dwell in life on days bittersweet. Knowing that one day we'll meet. You dwell on the little things which will one day be forgotten. While I wait for you my begotten. You fear me and and yet you fear lying alone in oblivion. Yes I'm talking to you hear me Vivian. Don't turn away from me it is the truth. Do I need give you proof? Lost in death cold grasp. I am within his clasp. I see his scythe. His bony hands I know I will lose my life. He leads three dogs of death. I feel I'm breathing my last breath. The terror consumes my entire soul. I'm sure it's his goal. He takes me to another world. To dwell in the land of the dead, in the nether world. Lost is the soul in death cold grasp. I am beyond life's last gasp. I know not where I'm going with this harbinger of death. My soul is being led to a world which I see as a fiery breath. Deeper and deeper we go into hell, the underworld. I see it as fading old world with fading ghosts, souls unfurled. The soul asked of death why is the world here disappearing? Death replied, Vivian, this world is a memory and like all memories it fades as time passes. The center of this region we are nearing. The region was brown and fading the inhabitants were at various stage of fading to oblivion. The reaper said. We are here I shall leave you now. Vivian. I fear now I am truly lost and alone in hell. Forever here shall I fade, be forgotten and well. Down and down we go ever eternally down. Till when we end in a land of fading hues of brown. I look around to see we weren't alone. Where I was exiled was a murky shadow of a town. It was populated with people who fade with time like the land to nothing. Ghosts of those dead and gone, fading memories of the living. Reaching second death in oblivion. I see someone I know she was partly faded her name was Vivian. 
she said. All disappear who have died the soul is but a fading memory of life. The reaper is ruler of this land of strife. Like ghosts in the living world destined to fade and die again. Like a pen the ink just runs out fades, so it goes with the living and dead of men. We dream not of the light. We are imprisoned in night. Why do they cry? Because it's a lie. In death's cold realm. A land where death is at the helm. We are but a fading memory. Like sand soon to disappear on board of emery only temporary. I envy you living forever eternal life. It must be good to live. And not die and be forgot. Vivian said to the reaper. Some may say they want eternal life. It is not what they think it's like. All things change and fade like memory all things are temporary eons pass like minutes, centuries like seconds, don't ask me of days, Vivienne, to me they are nothing. The reaper confided to his friend a fading ghost called Vivienne who looked sorry for him. I believe you, even I'll fade to oblivion as all do, she said. They say time is relative it truly is for one trapped in eternal death. Mortals are born to die, but I die to live forever. I lose, the reaper said. Everything and everyone, in time, friends, enemies, things I like and love. Vivian laughed trying to cheer him up. At least you lose enemies, no one needs enemies. Enemies and conflict make you grow they are adversity. Without adversity nothing changes, the reaper said sadly. They also make you stronger. Oh never thought of enemies like that they just were pests to me, made life harder, Vivian said. They test you make you work harder to overcome them, the reaper said sadly. I miss my enemies, but more will come, the reaper sighed sadly. And they'll go. They may call this place hell, but the true hell is eternal life, or in my case eternal death. I live for eternity. I die never. I look dead however. I am immortal apart from my infirmity. I will live forever. People think I am dead. I am of course not. I am the reaper my home is hot. I live with the ghosts and all the undead. I take the dying souls to my underworld plot. The living fear me. The dead near me live. The ghosts fade with time since when they were alive. In time I will be alone I foresee. I hope I'm wrong but I will not my fate forgive. One All Hallows Eve death a scary plot did conspire. He dressed as a jester to take his victims. No one was amused by his attire. He was sad to be shown the error of his predictions. Death took his friend the fading ghost Vivian trick or treating. They knocked door to door. And ended up arrested for terrorizing. Now they don't trick or treat anymore.